Hello, welcome back to Brand Sushi Live Coding. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at a method to do instancing using Spare Chalk, uh, especially to make something like a sea urchin. So, if you want to make something like this, perhaps you're thinking, okay, maybe particles, and maybe instancing some bunch of particles for each of these spikes. Um, yeah, you can also do some kind of extrusion, but for this, we're gonna be using uh, the new dupli instancer. So we have dupli instancer and also the mesh instancer. I think both of them can work. I think the dupli one is probably gonna be faster. So let's see how it works. Let me quickly close this. Save it as SV Urchin. So the spike, for the spike, we can actually use like uh, something like cylinder. And we want to have some kind of base. So for that, we can use icosphere. And so the idea is really just to make a bunch of uh, duplications. Um, and we need to have um, some kind of matrix. So for the matrix, you probably want to use something like matrix track two, but the simpler one will be, uh, there's another one, matrix normal, I think, matrix normal, there you go. So they are, they both are pretty interesting. Um, let's just tr try using this. For the locations and for the normal, so we get we're gonna have the matrix. For the child, we're gonna be using the cylinder. So the cylinder needs to be generated first. So that's a cylinder, and now we have something on the 3D scene. Let's make uh, some kind of spike with a number 12 for the number of vertices, and the object can go into this guy and we want to duplicate it on the on the poly not the vertices there's something about this weird vertices or poly but for now we can just simply use poly so we can delete this and i think all we need to do is to make sure we we kind of using the correct setup ah there we go <laughs> track to Z and not minus Z because that's gonna be the opposite but it's looking kind of interesting so this is we have the original cylinder and we have the spikes okay so we kind of kind of done it's kind of there we have the spikes and we have the, the cylinder they are kind of interesting um, you can definitely make a lot of different design based on this but let's try to play around with the spikes maybe make a different size of the spike I believe we have to do it over here with the matrix so matrix deform or matrix transform okay maybe deform or actually matrix math can do the job Maybe we, we don't even need to use matrix math because we can always use the uh, um, actually in this case we just use matrix multiply and here we're gonna have another matrix in and we can do the scaling here. Oh so the scaling is doing weird thing. That's not what I want. For the spike, I think I have a finished version somewhere here open. So I think this is one version that's actually working properly. So here apparently I, I'm using random number plug into the scale. And this is matrix multiply. So yeah, it seems to be just like the other one 
So let's try and go back to sea urchin, paste this here, and now just use mat uh, matrix multiply and scale it. Hopefully this works. And change the use different scaling. Or oh, underneath you can see some weird stuff happening. But that's actually just the triangle for like if you're using dupli and you need to have some kind of uh, triangle to represent each of the the placement of the instance but they are not going to be rendered so if you test it out in in blender 2.8 there's actually an option not to render the triangle um, for now we have to we have to see the triangles in the 3d view anyway so yeah the funky stuff it's uh, the triangle but this is the the spike. Don't worry about the triangle. Um, yeah, if you render this out or if you export this out, you're gonna get an interesting result, just like the sea urchin. You can even uh, randomize the the rotation if you like. Just plug this into the rotation. Oh, okay, something like that. That can do the job. Or you can use randomize vector and plug it there and you can randomize just like that it's pretty easy um, let's try export this out what's interesting is that if you, you are if you are using this uh, dupli instancer and you go to the outliner you can see it's very clean and if you export it out you're gonna have a proper object kind of like uh, making the instance real objects and you can perhaps create like like an AR object like this as well so file import obj desktop searching okay there you go delete that so we have a single object with all these funky spikes and yep i think that's pretty much it uh, there's one thing with this method um, you cannot scale xyz of the instance independently they're gonna be like just a single uh, scale so if you try to scale it it's not gonna work so that's one limitations um, yeah but still kind of interesting that you're able to do this pretty easily um, and if you're using this uh, so there's option for to scale the children what is that okay and also the vertices that's a weird one but actually I might actually use it, this um, nodes in the in the wrong kind of way but um, what I mean is that with the matrix is really looking at the the icosphere so we are really scaling the icosphere I think maybe but uh, so if we are scaling the children it's looking like that and you can turn on one object only so this node is still kind of interesting you don't want to use vertices it looks weird but for a polygon it works quite well okay so that's pretty much it for this type of thing hopefully you find this useful if you want to make zero chain you can do it this way now look at this this is also kind of interesting uh, if you want to try try to make it using blender you can definitely use spare chop for this kind of thing any kind of ocean creatures really you can uh, use spare chop to generate this kind of organic looking uh, objects or creatures I think. so there you go hopefully you enjoyed this let me know what you think and i'll see you next time thank you bye